Thanks for joining us here on 90s Plus. I'm Chris Bianchi. You may have heard the Denver Broncos have a football game, one that actually counts, one that Russell Wilson, we presume, will actually play in against his old team. Few things on the line in the Broncos' regular season opener coming up on Monday Night Football as the Broncos take on the Seattle Seahawks for a preview and everything about the Broncos. We're now joined by 90s Sports Director Rod Mackey. Rod, how are we feeling about the Broncos after training camp, after the preseason? Well, I mean, the funny thing is we don't know what this team is actually like from what we saw in the preseason because we never saw any of the players that will start Monday Mm -hmm. night play over the last three games. So this is the way that Nathaniel Hackett wanted to do it. He wanted to be safe. He didn't want to get guys injured. The Rams did it. They won the Super Bowl. The Packers did it last year. And even though they started slow, they had a great season up until the playoffs. So he decided to sit the starters, play the backups, So now we're going to see what this Broncos team is truly like. And, I mean, talk about your dream matchups to start the season. The Broncos at Seattle with Russell Wilson going to the place where he played his entire career, where he won a Super Bowl against the Broncos. We don't want to talk about that part of it. (laughs) Um, It's going to be interesting to see how the fans treat him. It's going to be how interesting to see how this affects him. He is so stoic. Um, doesn't seem to get phased, really doesn't seem to get that high and low, but there is no question this is going to be an emotional thing for him to go back to Seattle and play against all of his former teammates. And, you know, his current teammates really want to win, A, this obviously to start the season, get off on the right foot, win it for the head coach, but especially to win this for Russell Wilson. Uh, Cannot wait until Monday night. Well, there's all the emotion. There's a whole lot, of course, that surrounds this game. I think if you look at it, though, in terms of the schedule, playing the AFC West, I wouldn't say it's a game, obviously, game one that you have to have. But, again, looking at the Broncos' schedule, there's not too many gimmies, is, are there? This is – I think you got ha- – I mean, obviously, you lose the first game. It's not going to be the end of the season. There's 17. I think it's huge. I think it's absolutely huge. And it's interesting because Nathaniel Hackett has kind of toned that down. Often you'll hear players – and coaches talk about how that first game really is a momentum setter, even though it's just one seventeenth of the season. It feels bigger. Coach Hackett has tried to say this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. We need to be playing our best football in January, hopefully February, down the stretch. But with that said, what you just kind of talked about, that schedule, the Broncos schedule to start things off, you've got Seattle, who's not supposed to be very good at all this season. The Broncos are a touchdown favorite against them. Then you've got the Texans coming to town, a game you should absolutely win. The 49ers will be here. San Fran's a good team, but the game is here. You've got to start strong because the way they finish down the stretch, you've got the Chiefs twice. You're at L.A. against mm-hmm. the Super Bowl champion Rams on Christmas. You've got the Chargers in there. The end of their season, their final five games are a gauntlet. So it is very important, I think, for the Broncos to start strong. But, again, this is – a lot of new from the coach to the quarterback. The owners don't really affect that newness. They are new, but as far as the whole chemistry goes, it's they're not they're not going zero to sixty. So there's going to be an adjustment period Monday night. I think against Seattle, who is a let's be honest, a lower tier team in the NFL this year versus what they've been in the past. It's a good matchup for them, but it is I think a huge game and a matchup they have to win. How about individual matchups? Uh, Broncos D, uh, any sorts of specific matchups that you'll be watching for Monday night? I mean, what I'm looking forward to is, is seeing how the running backs go, how they mix mm. Javante Williams with Melvin Gordon. Russell Wilson is, keeps talking about Melvin Gordon. They played together in Wisconsin briefly. Uh, Melvin is going to be a backup to Javante. Javante will get more carries. Interested to see how they implement Melvin into there. Also, uh, interested to see how Russell is on the same page with his receivers. Peyton Manning always talked about how long it takes to get on that same page with guys. Well, these guys have been working out since Russell got here. You know, he took them to his place. They've been doing that. So how is that chemistry? Uh, and then I'm also looking forward to seeing some of the former Broncos with Noah Fant, Shelby Harris. Love the guys, but hopefully they don't play well on Monday night. Yeah, well, I guess Russell Wilson, I guess the big focus, obviously. You mentioned he tends to not be um, uh, too up and down. He tends to be pretty even keeled. Uh, how do you anticipate him playing? He didn't get, of course, any preseason snaps uh, at all. What are your feelings about him heading into game one? I mean, I, I think – From what we saw, the best indicator of what we have in Russell Wilson is what they did that one practice day on Thursday when they had Mm -hmm. the joint thing against the Cowboys. And that's where he honestly looked his best. He has struggled often against his Denver defense. Mm. 
But this Denver defense knows what's coming. These guys practice together all the time. And is, I think the offense is much improved. I still think the defense is a strength of this team. So it may not be a fair measuring stick. I think the better measuring stick was how they did against the Cowboys. Russell looked good against the Cowboys. I think he's going to look good against Seattle. It is going to be a mental challenge for him to go against Seattle. And I think I don't think deservedly so, but I think the fans will boo him. Yes, he won a Super Bowl there, but he left there. And that's it's what have you done for me lately? And they're going to look at it lately. He left us, so they're going to boo him. It's going to be interesting how he handles emotions, but I think he'll handle well. I think he'll play well. Anything else before we get to the good part, your prediction? Uh, no, just just um, it's finally here. It, it was a long preseason. I mean, it's it's tough. They, it, It's fun for us selfishly because we get to do all the stuff, but it's really kind of the preseason's become pretty ridiculous. I mean, the starters don't play. It goes on forever. They need to be like the NHL. Just, just start the season. Let's yeah. get going. It's been a long time. And then you've got another week after the season ends, so I think everyone's ready to see some NFL football. So, with that said, what do you think happens on Monday night? I think the Broncos win. I just, I, I, I think they start. So, I look at this this way. I think for Seattle, it's really their Super Bowl because they're not going to make. I think their over under is like four and a half games, or it may not be quite that low, but it's not very high. They're not supposed to be a good team. They're not going to make the playoffs. So for them, this is the huge game. They really want to beat Russell. So they are going to be up for it. The crowd's going to be crazy. Everyone talks about Kansas City being loud. I still think playing in Seattle is louder just because of the ambience of the city and they, the stadium and the way they pump sound in. So I think Seattle gets out to the early lead. I think the Broncos come back and win it. I think it's going to be close. I'm going to say uh, 23 to 20 Denver Monday Night Football. One and zero. The Broncos start 23 20. So Broncos win. But Seahawks cover. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not not getting yeah. that too much. Yes. How, how are you feeling about the Broncos overall for the season? Are you are you willing to I, give I, us a prediction? No, I want to see what happens. I mean, because I I really we don't know. We don't know. This is going to be a big indicator. One season, one game is not a season make, but this will be. This is. I'll give you a season predictions after. I mean, what I've said all along is I said ten and seven, they get in as a wild card. I still think the Chiefs are. Gonna, you got to beat the Chiefs. So I'm going to say Kansas City at this point still wins the division. Broncos going to lose a wild card, but I think we'll know a lot more after Monday night. Well, we'll wait for that season prediction, but it's only going to have 16, well, 17. I'll give you a 10 and 7, but with the little asterisk to be able to change it next week. Okay. okay. All right, so 10 and 7. Okay, at least you're yeah. giving me something. Yeah. You'll get full credit for the 10 and 7. Whatever you do next week, I mean, we'll only we have 16, 17 credit. We can do the predictions every week, and eventually one of them will be right, and we'll just play that at the end of the year. <laughs> Okay. Well, unless you get week 17 wrong, you know, yeah, you think about the Yeah, pretty close. Only missing one game, that'd be pretty good. That would be pretty good. All right. Rod Mackey, 9 News Sports Director. Thanks for joining us, you and uh, go Broncos on Monday night.